final stage in the social selling funnel is is by brand advocacy and brand advocates and I guess this is long after the actual sale takes place and the social selling takes place. It's really the networking, the content marketing, the lead nurturing, which is really social selling. Um, and then, you know, after the purchase, then uh, it's it's about brand advocates and, and brand advocates are, you know, committed and highly satisfied buyers who willingly recommend your business to others based on their own authentic or positive customer experiences you know and it's it's these customer experiences that you know have become I suppose one of the most uh, significant factors to help turn prospects into into customers and customers then into brand advocates and you know they're they're really born from a cultivation of trust through that you know social selling phase um, and experience of you know, positive content and positive communications and what I would say every every customer does represent you know a valuable acquisition for every business every customer does um, but some customers really are a, a, a virtual gold mine you know where they where they then off their own bat or off their own accord start sharing the benefits of doing business with your company and well you know that's usually on on social um, but they'll they'll refer they'll refer other companies to you, you know. Every company that I talk to says, you know, a lot of our business is, is word of mouth. Well, this is the new word of mouth, I guess, online and, and on social. Um, you know, what they do is they, they they engage new buyers, they drive passive sales, and they generate new business for your for your company. And and where do they um? Wordy brand advocates share their information we mentioned about doing business with you. It's it's online, it's on social media. You know, 58% of, of brand advocates share information on, on social media channels, and 53% email and, and so on. So it's it's a lot of it is is online, but most of it is on social media. So um, how do you create or how do you cultivate brand advocates for, for B2B companies? And I suppose, you know. Providing high quality products and services, delivering great customer experiences and user experiments experiences is is the minimum. It's the minimum requirement, you know, to, to meet and exceed customer expectations. And you know, um, I suppose to really stand out um, in the top of customers' minds and nurture that loyalty is to keep providing content and and keep providing content that they like and, and they, they engage with and exceed their expectations with, with excellent customer service, with consistent experiences and an amazing sort of after sales service. Um, what I would say as well is, is make it easy for, for brands or, or customers to become brand advocates by creating content that they can easily share on social networks, share their success stories, via case studies, obviously ask their mission beforehand, you know, reward them, surprise them, um, maybe with early access to new products, allow them to test products which are maybe in beta, and um, give them exclusive invitations to events whenever they come back. Um, maybe allow them to access exclusive training that you have or support opportunities, whatever it is, you know, and really empower them to tell their own stories you know, whether that's through their own social networks or maybe you do a podcast, maybe you do a webinar, maybe you do, you know, cross content and promotions or whatever it is, and video testimonials. Um, and always act on any feedback that you get online, be it positive or negative. Uh, address, you know, good feedback, um, whether it's reviews, mentions, whatever it is, always address it. Here's an example of, of brand advocacy we can see at, at work. So somebody has asked a question on LinkedIn, you know, for recommendations. They're looking for transport um, bonded goods across the UK. And here you have, um, I think there was 88 uh, replies, 88 comments on um, on social, on this social media post, on this LinkedIn post where, um, you know, here's the company that we use, this is why we use them and so on. So there's a whole list and um, just a small screenshot there of, of some of the some of the uh, companies that, that people have offered, but there was 88 comments in total. This is an example of, of brand advocacy.